In the year 605 BC, the Babylonian Empire, led by King Nebuchadnezzar, invaded and conquered Jerusalem. Many of the Israelites, including Daniel, are taken captive and brought to Babylon. The story of Daniel in the Bible begins when he is a young man living in Jerusalem. Once in Babylon, Daniel and the other captives are trained in the language and customs of the Babylonians. They are also offered the king's delicacies to eat and drink. However, Daniel, along with three of his friends, Hananiah, Miss Hale, and Azariah, refuse to eat the king's food and instead request to eat vegetables and drink water. They believe that by doing so, they will remain faithful to their God and not defile themselves. God blesses their choice and they appear healthier and stronger than the others who ate the king's food. Daniel soon gains favor with the chief official in charge of the captives and is given the opportunity to serve in the king's palace. He excels in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, so much so that the king finds him to be ten times better than all his wise men and magicians. One night, King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream that greatly troubles him. He calls all his wise men and magicians to interpret the dream for him, but none of them are able to. In his frustration, the king orders that all the wise men and magicians in Babylon be killed, including Daniel and his friends. Upon hearing this news, Daniel asks for some time so that he may seek God's wisdom and understanding. God reveals the dream and its interpretation to Daniel in a vision. Daniel goes before the king and tells him about his dream, which was of a large statue made of different materials. Daniel explains that the statue represents the succession of kingdoms in the world, with the head of gold representing Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, followed by kingdoms of silver, bronze, iron, and a mixture of iron and clay. Daniel then interprets the dream, explaining that the dream symbolizes the rise and fall of world empires and that God is ultimately in control of history. Nebuchadnezzar is greatly impressed with Daniel's interpretation and recognizes the power of God. Over time, Daniel gains even more favor with Nebuchadnezzar and serves as an advisor to him. He interprets more dreams and visions, including one where the king is warned about his pride and arrogance. Despite Daniel's warnings, Nebuchadnezzar does not humble himself, and as a result, he is driven away from people and lives like a wild animal in the field. However, after a period of time, the king regains his sanity and acknowledges the power and sovereignty of God. After Nebuchadnezzar's death, his son Belshazzar becomes the ruler of Babylon. One night, Belshazzar holds a great feast and uses the golden vessels taken from the temple in Jerusalem to drink wine and praise his gods. Suddenly, a mysterious hand appears and writes on the wall. None of the wise men and astrologers can interpret the writing, so the queen advises the king to call upon Daniel to interpret it. Daniel arrives and tells Belshazzar that the writing means that his time as king is over and the kingdom will be given to the Medes and Persians. That very night, Babylon is invaded and conquered by the Medo-Persian Empire, just as Daniel had predicted. After the fall of Babylon, Daniel continues to serve in the court of the new king, Darius the Mede. However, Daniel's excellence and integrity make the other officials jealous, and they plot to have him killed. They convince Darius. To pass a law stating that anyone who prays to any other god or man besides the king for thirty days shall be thrown into a den of lions. Aware of the new law, Daniel continues to pray to God three times a day, just as he always has. When the officials catch him, they bring him before the king, who is regretful but bound by the law to have Daniel thrown into the lion's den. However, God protects Daniel in the den, and the next morning, Darius rushes to the den and finds Daniel unharmed. Overjoyed, Darius declares that the God of Daniel is the living God, and he orders those who conspired against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den instead, where they are instantly devoured. Throughout his life, Daniel's faith and character continue to shine, and he gains favor with future kings. He has many visions and dreams, some of which reveal prophecies about the future, 
including the rise and fall of empires and the coming of a future Messiah. Daniel's story in the Bible demonstrates his unwavering faith in God, his integrity, his wisdom, and his courage. He serves as a reminder that no matter the circumstances, God is ultimately in control and will protect.